Okay, so I, I only have one more thing on my list, Ryan. And oh, this okay. this is the most important question I have for you. What do you think my chances are with Aqua? <laughs> um, I'm going to put this on a physical standpoint and say physically impossible because she's in the realm of darkness. No, no. <laughs> but real, like, if she wasn't in the realm of darkness, uh -huh. you're quite a cool dude and she should see that. Oh my God, thank you so much. <laughs> Oh my god, yes! Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Sambo here. Today we're back with another Birth by Sleep episode where Rain doesn't care about me or my feelings. We are going to be getting into the... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> we we are doing the secret force today of Ansem and we are... Or not Ansem, sorry. Zig... Uh, not Zigbar. Zigbar? Uh, I am... Zigbar did report on point to today. Those. <laughs> As if. <laughs> I was eavesdropping on Zen. I mean, not eavesdropping because I couldn't hear what he's had to say. <laughs> no. I overheard. <laughs> we, we are doing the Xehanort report today, and then we will be getting into the uh, super bosses after that. So, without further ado, now that I got my, sh my crap together, I won't swear in the first minute, uh, we will jump into it. All right. Now that jarbling gook is out of the way. Let's get into these freaking Xehanort reports as I turn down because the music got really loud. Actually, it's Xehanort's letter first. Well, this, yeah, this is Xehanort report zero. You know, it's his, it's his letter. We got, we got 12 more to go through. How Lucky many, number 13. Um, how many Ansem reports were there? I think 13. They re 13 is the number, Ryan. 13 okay. is the number. Organization 13. 13 is their favorite number. 13, 13, 13. Yeah, but they're not Organization 13 yet. This is Xehanort's report. Xehanort 13. <laughs> Xehanort's nobody's organized Organization 13. So, 13. If you say <laughs> st stop saying 13, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then let's get into it then. Xehanort's letter. Oh, God. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Please accept my dearest gratitude for the keyblade. No, <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that. Everybody, I promise. <laughs> for the invitation to witness your pupil's ascension to the office of the true keyblade map. Wait, is this Xehanort? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a heavy mantle our master placed upon our, our, your shoulders in naming your successor. But you have nonetheless preserved and raised two masters yourself. I know it cannot be have been easy. I did you terrible harm in the past over a petty difference in opinion, and just a few years ago, selfishly thrust my own burdens upon you. Is I that think... Ventus? Um... Is Ventus his burden? I think he might be talking about his uh, obsession with Kingdom Hearts. I cannot be 100%. Let's keep reading. I... Oh, I... Okay. I, I think of you like a younger brother, and yet fool that I am. I never, I had never availed myself of countless opportunities to apologize or thank you for opening your home to the boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're okay. right. It is, it is. Yay. Just... <laughs> Yet not once have you blamed me. On the contrary, here you are inviting me to such an important ceremony. I intend to be there to offer you my, all my blessings. Our master chose his heir wisely. Ours is a bizarrely ironic task to watch over the light from the shadows. But in the face of that, the warmth of your heart and unfailing dedication to the light impress me to no end. I have taken to wander the world and, and seen much darkness hiding in the light. Lately, I fear it has taken a turn for the worst. Perhaps Yen Sid has already told you, but are you about the unversed? These fledgling emotions derived from negativity, and I can now sense their presence in nearly every world. And on the topic of darkness, we must speak of another matter that concerns me, one related to the upcoming ceremony. When I visited several years ago, your pupil Terra drew my attention. His power is immense, to be sure, but within his heart I could see darkness just waiting to be awakened. I know this is none of my business, but I have, res have reservations about welcoming Terra as a true Keyblade Master without taking certain precautions. The tradition ex traditional examination, perhaps, to see if he has the mark of mastery. The choice is yours, and I humbly respect your decision. Take care. I eagerly await our long overdue reunion. There we go. So that's like his letter before uh, the game, pretty much. Okay. Very I never cool. should have been invited to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he sounded so sincere there. He's, he's a good actor. I guess. He, well, he's, he was hiding his true intentions, I suppose. 
All right, Zane report number one. Much time has passed since I left the home of my youth behind. And I, and in the, the Myriad. Mi Myriad, thank you. Myriad worlds. I have v since visited, I have gained much knowledge. On these pages, I intend to record a portion of that knowledge and put the course of my life to paper. Upon reflection, my life underwent the most considerable sea change <laughs> when I arrived at that place. I don't, I've never heard that before. Yes, no. it be began when I f found a master and another I would call my brother when I found a new home. Then there was a keyblade, the keyblade, for the purpose was it begotten? <laughs> for what purpose was it begotten and by whom? During my training as one of its wielders, the precepts of, uh, offered at the at a, offered a clear answer. The keyblade existed so that my screen went black. We who watched over the light could protect the world from the chateau. But was that the true answer? Could there not be more to it than that? My heart sought knowledge, and so I sometimes visited other worlds. Through such travel was forbidden, unless duty required, and found what my heart sought. Oh, that's the end of it. Okay, there we go. Any questions on that one? So he's writing that as the game's going on, but it's him talking about his past. Yeah, so this is this is more of a report on his his past, really. Yeah, this was him kind of when okay. he was learning to use the Keyblade and found out about the Keyblade and learning the Keyblade and then traveling to worlds. I guess just call it like Sora running around worlds. Learning the Keyblade. Okay. I would say. Lena Report 2. Our master instructs us to don armor while traveling between worlds. Keyblade armor. So that we might shield ourselves from the darkness. But there in the lanes between I could feel the force of it. The power. And from then on I forewent my armor's protection. I had been told the darkness would devour me, but what terrors could I possibly hold so as long as I found the strength to control it? The world is vast, and the worlds within the greater world unaccountable. Like little islands, they dot a great ocean between which keeps them ignorant from each other, uncorrupted. Each world had its own order. Unlike us, they could not know of the world in its entirety. And we were never to enlighten them. So that's talking about the world order of Disney worlds, basically. Yeah. So the world is, I'm going to call it our, the universe. Because if we think of it like space, which is the best analogy I can do, because we call them worlds, right? Yeah. It's like a space or a galaxy or whatever you want to call it there. The, um, it's all a world. We're all one world. But these little other worlds, Disney, town, you know. Neverland, all that. Those are like little islands in this world, essentially. Yeah. So that that's kind of what I was trying to get to you in the past here about it's not actually space. They're all connected. <laughs> it's like I have something they use a lot in Kingdom Hearts is is I think one ocean, one, one sky is, is what the term they use a lot. And I know they say the one sky. I can't remember if it's one ocean or, or if it's just one world, one sky or something. I don't know. Whatever. But they said the okay. ocean between here. And it's like capitalized, <laughs> so that's like the between that we're talking about yeah. there. But so yeah, that's okay. just talking about that. And then obviously Disney worlds can't be aware of other Disney worlds except for certain characters, Mickey freaking rat. Um, <laughs> and actually, Ariel's Ariel's father knew about other worlds as well, which yeah, is he did. interesting plot point. Uh, but anyways, the are pros number three. In ancient times, no buffers kept the world larger world divided. There were no walls of light enclosing each smaller world the way they do today. Nothing prevented one from physically interfering with the next. At the time, at that time, the world was filled with light and a great key in many keyblade wielders. But without no, without buffers, the world began to squabble over ownership of the light. You see, they learned of the keyblade's true use. War broke out as each of the Keyblade wielders struggled to lay claim to an almighty entity known as Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts could be described as a, uh, an ag agitated or aggregate. Ag aggregate of hearts. Sorry. <laughs> a world's I think it's aggregate. <laughs> aggregate. It looks like aggregate. Kingdom Hearts could be described as an aggregate of hearts. Worlds, too, have hearts. Just like people, each world's heart is concealed from sight beyond a hidden door. 
but gathered all the hearts of the worlds in a single place, one may complete Kingdom Hearts. Which, that is the plot of Kingdom Hearts 1. Anson the Wise, or sorry, not Anson, I had some Seeker of Darkness, is trying to use hearts of worlds to create Kingdom Hearts. So he's like, he's basically launching them into the darkness to try to form Kingdom Hearts. Okay, so the before the worlds are separate, they had a massive war because they wanted to have Kingdom Hearts to themselves. And now that's what he was trying to do. And it was Keyblade wielders that had this war. Yeah, because it's the, the Keyblade War with all the Keyblades. The Keyblade War! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, that's exactly it. So this was talking okay. about a, a land before they were separated. So when there were truly one world without these islands everywhere. Okay. Um, Got all right. it. Next one. In Zaynor Part 4. And when Kingdom Hearts is complete, it is said that one who opens its door will bring about the creation of the next world. Such a feat is above any human. Or, to put it different, in a different way, whoever opens that door will be reborn as something far greater than human. Light and darkness are two sides of the same coin. Without darkness, there is no light. The Keyblade... Wow, Rain must love that. Right there, because <laughs> that's, like, well, that's what she preaches the whole time. <laughs> yeah, because it, it bugs me when they're like, oh, we must protect the light, darkness is terrible, blah, 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 like, especially in the first game, it's like, Riku, how dare you do that? that? Dude, you have to equal it out. There has to be an equal. <laughs> they're children, they had to learn this, and we had to learn that. We had to, we under, had to understand the rules of the world. Um, the Keyblade Wielder's great war over Kingdom Hearts was fought by defenders of the light, servants of darkness, those who sought to reconcile the two and those motivated by nothing more than lust for power. A whole spectrum of thought was swept into the conflict, and the worlds that did not go to war found the war brought to them. In the end, the whole world was cast into darkness, and it was how the, key, the ancient Keyblade War drew to a close. To this day, no one has ever managed to open the door to Kingdom Hearts. Sometime later, the little light that remained in the hearts of the few gave rise to the world we knew, know today, one made of many worlds behind. Just as many walls, uh, so that the Keyblade War would not be repeated. Okay. Alright, nice. In our five. Uh, at the present, the lanes and corridors that run between the worlds may only be traversed by us Keyblade wielders and those who have given themselves over darkness or have a gummy ship. At the form <laughs> as the former, our duty is to cross the chasms between worlds and guard against the latter, though whose darkness corrupts and contaminates, so that no world need be lo ever ever be lost again. Few Keyblade wielders remain now. I have heard of but a handful of other outside my circle, but the world is vast and more of our kind may be out there. And now, what, sorry? Sorry, our kind, like there's some sort of alien species. <laughs> <laughs> our species, yeah. <laughs> now, in addition to the realm of light in which we reside, there is also a realm of darkness and the realm between which connects the two. The realm of darkness is most f forbidden, and I, I am told none who set foot there have ever returned. Rip Aqua. <laughs> no! Don't do that! There are three family of the Keyblades. The Keyblades oh of Light. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're learning about this. The Keyblades of Light that we wield, the Keyblades of Darkness, and the Keyblades of Hot. I'll explain this at the end if it doesn't do a good enough job. Uh, the first and second families differ only in origins. The Keyblades of Darkness are found in the Realm of Darkness and are counterparts to the Keyblades we know, the Realm of Light. You know, I'll explain it right now. So, Xora's Keyblade, right? That's the Realm of yeah. Light, Kingdom Key D, Realm of Darkness. So those are Kingdom the counterparts. Key D. Mickey Mouse's Keyblade. That bitch has a Darkness Keyblade? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, just called him, I called him a bitch, but... That's why it's Kingdom Key D, you know, D for Darkness. But he's using, I'm sorry, he's using a Keyblade of Darkness to defend the light? Yes. I Are thought you you'd sure like that. I, I, I do, I do, don't get me wrong, I do, but I'm just like thinking about it. I, are we sure Mickey Mouse isn't the actual villain here? <laughs> it, it, I think it's important to note too. Obviously, the Keyblade was Yen Sid's in Birth by Sleep here, but we, we see in Cage 2 that he's using the King of Key D. Yeah, which, he's got like which, the opposite colors of Sora. Yeah, yeah, which I think is kind of cool. 
Yeah, because like they fit together and yeah, make the same. Yeah, I th I'm glad they did that. Um, <laughs> anyways, the third type of Keyblade is the Keyblade of Heart. It came to existence when the world was reorganized after the Keyblade Ward. Without this key, Kingdom Hearts is forever beyond a person's reach. Only by gathering together seven hearts, excuse me, a pure light, hearts completely devoid of darkness, may one forge a Keyblade of Heart and open the door to Kingdom Hearts. And as stated before, opening the door, arguably, gives the person control over all worlds and people. So, the perfect example of the Keyblade of Heart here is Kingdom Hearts 1, which Riku, Dark Riku, possessed by Ansem Riku, formed at the end of KH1. That Keyblade that was like red and had black and had like a incomplete yeah. heart because it needed the last heart of Kairi, so it wasn't complete yet. Yeah. Um, that's what that one was. You know, I've noticed it's a theme in this game that they like to, like, the series of Xehanort sourced, like, characters like to possess people. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. There is a term for that. that I'll get to that at a later date. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Next one. Unless you had more questions on the Keyblades. I do not. I understand. It's so. Actually, no. What kind? Of, what kind of Keyblade do, do like? Does Riku have a Keyblade? He does, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. He has the the weight of the dawn. Well, I think his Keyblade still called that. That's what his sword was called. I think his Keyblade still called that. So is he a darkness one or a light one? Does that not matter? I... That's that's an interesting question, actually, because his sword was very, like, darkness-y yeah. and is... Yeah. It's almost like a between <laughs> I, 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 I mean, my gut is telling me it's a, a light keyblade, but I'm not sure. Comments, maybe? Because I feel like Kyrie's would be a light one because... Yeah, she's... hers definitely is. Yeah. I would say Riku's is probably a light one, but I cannot be sure. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be amazed if, or surprised if it wasn't a light keyblade. It was a darkness keyblade, but I'm pretty sure it's a light keyblade. Well, I'm gonna okay. go with that for now until I'm proved otherwise. But something I wanted to say here, it's. I mean, they kind of retconned the fact that you know only only a keyblade of heart can open Kingdom Hearts because then obviously we have the keyblade. You know that that can is this the way to open Kingdom Hearts. So. That's kind of a bit of a retcon in the series. Or they just kind okay. of changed it later. You know what retcon is, right? I'm going to need you to remind me. It, it, it's kind of like when they establish something as a way to do something and then they retcon something later and, and they like change it. So now, oh, actually, there's this other way to do it. And they like forego what they said before. Kind of like at, in Kingdom Hearts 1, they said there can only be one Keyblade Master. Riku said that to... Um, Sora, but there's yeah. literally they both wield key keyblades. Now Kyrie has a keyblade, so like, and and Mickey yeah. has a keyblade. There, there's and no just one this... keyblade master. <laughs> and we see in this game there are multiple masters. Right. Yeah. So it's that was yeah, kind of okay. a. If anything, it was probably more of a mistranslation. I think is what I've heard um, about that line specifically because even in Kingdom Hearts One, Mickey had a keyblade, so it's like. So maybe yeah. that one wasn't so much of a recon. So maybe I'll, I'll back out of that <laughs> there. But um, yeah, but there, there's there's not too much of that, I feel, because they they do a, a decent way of explaining a lot of the things that they end up changing throughout the series. But we'll get there when we get there. I have uncovered the Keyblade's ultimate mystery. You see, besides three family of Keyblades, you know, they're talking about that now. There's, mm -hmm. a key, there's another Keyblade. While it may sound the same when spoken, it is notable uniquely as... The Keyblade! <laughs> really, actually, I really like saying that. I might say that a lot in the future. Uh, and make no mistake, while it resembles a normal Keyblade, it is something uh, all, uh, it is something altogether different. The Keyblades are said to be man-made, counterparts to Kingdom Hearts. The Keyblade, however, coexists with Kingdom Hearts. So that's interesting not to say. Okay. Keyblades are all man-made. Ooh. I need to re- uh, hell, let me- <laughs> Keyblades are said to be man-made counterparts of Kingdom Hearts. The Keyblade, however, coexists with Kingdom Hearts. So... Man-made- is that- how man- how so, man-made? So Keyblades are forged, basically. That's what- That's what that is. But Sora's wasn't forged, was it? It just sort of appeared. Yes, it was. When? All keyblades are said to be man-made. All keyblades are said to be man-made. 
when was it forged? I don't know. Moving on. Who it is forged it? <laughs> it is only forged when two hearts of equal power intersect. One heart of pure darkness and one of pure light. At the time of its forging, Kingdom Hearts appears. It must be noted, though, that the Kingdom Hearts is special. Although you can make fake Kingdom Hearts, which we found out in two games in the series by sacrificing hearts and also the world, hearts of worlds. Unlike the kingdoms brought by about forcefully and artificially through the collection of our Okay, well, that's what I'm saying. This Kingdom Hearts is the perfect and complete union of all the world's hearts. Surely it was over that this that the ancient Keyblade War was fought. So it's it's saying it's referencing the two that were fake Kingdom Hearts, and then it, it really emphasized yeah. here with all caps. This Kingdom Hearts is perfect and complete <laughs> union of all the world's hearts. <laughs> I can just imagine him like running over his desk and he's like, it's perfect. <laughs> just, yeah, he like, just really... like leans over his shoulder. He's he's got little little Xehanort Jr. in the corner. He's like, it's perfect. <laughs> and then yeah. and, and then the, his baby speaks his first word. Keyblade. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, the Keyblade! <laughs> oh, you know the Keyblade! Well, let me tell you a story. <laughs> if, if so, the walls that divide the worlds today are one of little consequence with the Keyblade. All their hearts could be instantly reunited, and the Keyblade War refought. Oh god, that's a terrible. That's terrible. That, don't do that, dude. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Refight the Keyblade? Yeah, like, why would you want... To re war? ignite it. Why would you want that again? <laughs> uh, uh, to get all the worlds back together. He wants to bring the worlds back together and... Okay, but there's no he, guarantee that he, wants he wins this war. He wants to play... He wants to play God. That is some confidence to believe that he could win a Keyblade war after reuniting the worlds. He, he's a smart man. <laughs> he's a dick. <laughs> He, he is, he's, he's got a head on his shoulders, though, I gotta be honest with you. So he, if, he if anybody could do it, it's him. <laughs> my, yeah. my, my brother, pupil, Arrakis, thinks only to absolutes. He has persuaded himself that light is the only way, <laughs> but forgets that light cannot exist. Ring, did you write this? <laughs> <laughs> but forgets that the light cannot exist without shadow. I believe a balance of light and darkness is what sustains our world, but too much of the darkness has been stamped out, disrupting that balance. Someone must tear down this tyranny of light and reorganize the world <laughs> around the darkness, which then creeps back in. Arrakis and I did not see eye to eye. I left and wandered the world. This was perhaps the first time I felt truly free since that day I departed from my boyhood home. But free to do what? I had already shown the monk and became a Keyblade Master, but having been passed over as a successor, all that remained to me was the road of teacher. Ordinarily, Keyblade Masters take pupils under their wings, malleably minds, malleable. malleable minds, in which to impress the precepts of the Keyblade Wielder and keep our professional alive for generations to come. Was my time drawing to an end then, after all I had accomplished since casting away the place of my birth? And surely waiting for a quiet death would not do. Not when there was a keyblade to obtain. There was still so much I need to see for myself. Powers help me. I thought my body was so old. I need a younger one! <laughs> Tara! <Terror! laughs> no, I find the beginning of that report quite funny. No, first of all, I agree. But second of all, yeah. it says Ericus thinks in uh, only in absolutes, which it just not to do with King Hearts at all. But isn't it in Star Wars the Sith, it's only the Sith that deal in absolutes? Maybe like, I that's don't know. A, that's a bad thing. So I, I just find it funny because he's voiced by Skywalker. <laughs> oh, that's true too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number nine. We Keyblade Master have a special gift. We can extract a heart, be it our own or that of another. By continuing this cycle, it is possible to remain in the world of the living forever. As a boy, I dreamed of absolutely possessing another child. I dreamed <laughs> of seeing the farthest reaches of the world. If I only went far enough, there had to be a world out there in which no one had ever set foot before set foot. 
And now I know of just such a world. If I become the first to open Kingdom Hearts' door, I can create a next world in which light and darkness coexist in perfect equilibrium. Rain would love that world. Uh, so there, uh, there I stood with a vast knowledge in one gnarled, dying hand and newfound purpose in the other. The next step was clear. I needed a new vessel. And that was when I met Ventus. <laughs> He's the one I offer <laughs> and made him my pupil. We were destined to meet and I could sense the potential within him. But the boy was to be ben too benign for his own good. I came to the conclusion that he was too frail to serve as a vessel and decided to use him for a second purpose. I had in my mind, I would remove the darkness from his heart and split him in two. Then I would have my heart of pure light and my heart of pure darkness. Or with the keyblade. <laughs> Number ten. So, so this is really is just like villain sits down and writes down his entire plan. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Luckily, we only found pieces of it through the story. We would have known what was happening beforehand. Yeah. A as if, if Eric has just stumbled across this one day, he's like, no, and then it just stopped the entire game. From <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he did have the first letter. He did have that one. Yeah. As was to be expected, Ventus lacked the constitution for such an ordeal. I was able to remove the darkness inside him and create Venetus, a heart of pure darkness, but Ventus drifted into the clutches of sleep. What a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ventus' heart was of pure light and Venetus' heart of pure darkness. If both could be made strong enough to one day clash, I knew the Keyblade would be forged. But Venetus took too much of Ventus' heart. And from that fracture, I could see the last Ventus life slipping away. The boy deserved a place to spend his final moments peacefully. See, he has some of a, of a heart. Yeah. Thanor doesn't completely mean. And and what should come of, to mind but my own boyhood home? My legs took me there unbindedly. Un, unbinded. And as I stood there on the same beach where I had made my choice so many years ago, I thought... Not a single thing had changed. Here in this quiet world, time marches in place. Con content, that, content that Ventus would find peace here. I started to walk away, but then the boy held up his keyblade. The light within him had not died. So his boyhood home is the same as Sora's and Riku's? Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yup. That's exactly right. That is his boyhood home. Destiny Islands. That is <laughs> riddled with destiny. destiny. Never, yeah, it was just... Wow. Yeah, if things are destined there. Alright, two more to go. We're at the beginning of the game now. Ventus and Venetus were not matched in power. I could not train them together, or Venetus' darkness would gnaw away what little Ventus had left. Of course, since I needed a place where the boy's light must flour might flourish, the answer was obvious. I want to say before I continue here, it's it's presumably that because of the fact that Xehanort went to Destiny Islands, Sora is on Destiny Islands when that takes place. So okay. that's what elicited such a connection between Sora and Ventus. They're on the same world, not that far away, assuming he's on the big island we see in KH2 in that little yeah. village. And then... Ventus is on obviously Destiny Islands, and so they kind of link together right there. But so it's not okay. like he like crossed the universe or the world, as we'll call it, to to get there. But anyways, of course, since I needed a place where the boy's light must flourish, the answer was obvious. Arrakis and his absolutes of light. He's God. He's a he's a light whore, isn't he? <laughs> uh, considering how we had parted ways, I expected friction. But if anything, Arrakis seemed delighted to see me again. He readily agreed to take care of Ventus. Now I only I need only wait for the boy's heart to get stronger. I had not visited the second home of mine for some time and discovered Arrakis had already found two pupils of his own. Within one of them, Terra. I sense something. The boy, though well-intentioned, seeks power single-mindedly. And that kind of hunger is a seedbed for darkness. I had found my vessel. There you go. That's when he found his vessel. Such a creep about it as well. Uh. I'm a re creep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The time, the time has come. I have received a word from Arrakis that his pupils are to become true Keyblade masters, Terra and Aqua. 
They will be easy now to lure into the outside world. <laughs> but Ventus, I will get nowhere with him. Vanitas can feel somewhat of some of what Ventus feels, and he says Terra is the key. Ventus has loved Terra like a real brother ever since he let him keep his old wooden keyblade. Uh, it even adds more impact to him, leaving that in the chest in Neverland. And then it gets yeah. snapped by Ventus, Vanitas, who knows this. You dick! <laughs> oh, wow, Vanitas really is just dark, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he is pure darkness. Uh, it seems we have found a loose thread at which we can tug it the un tug to unravel Ventus's heart. The first step is to get Terra alone. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I was thinking that same thing. <laughs> then we need to plant the seeds. Oh God! <laughs> God! Why was she right? My like baby this? batter. <laughs> 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 The first step is to get Terra alone. Then we need to plant the seeds of doubt in Ventus. Oh, <laughs> then <no. laughs> let him carry his faint light as he chases his brother into the darkness. Let the darkness make his light stronger and the, let the light deepen the darkness. Then, And where the two finally meet is where the stuff of legends will become real. All right, oh, so there we go. Really is, this, that really is the bright little light, the dark of the shadow, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much, yeah, exactly. All right. They both, they both get stronger, so that's all that, of that. That went better than the Anthem reports, because I had a headache and it was delirious after the Anthem ones. Yeah, and I told Raiden before episodes, I don't think these are going to be that mind-boggling. They weren't. There was a little explaining and talking about that we did, um, but other yeah. than that, it was pretty much just explaining Xehanort's thought process through everything. So let's get going on some of these secret bosses. Let's see how this goes. Everybody, we are back. We are ready to take on some super bosses. Where do we go for the super bosses, Rain? Where, where are the where are the super Barrage bosses? Rain. No, oh, where we beat that. Oh, <laughs> we're going to the oh, Keeper Graveyard. Oh, the Keeper Graveyard. Okay. We now have a place we can go called the Badlands. Oh, you ready, oh. Rain? Ready for PTS freaking D? I remember this one? PTSD from this game. <laughs> You remember oh, this place? No, no, it's all, no, get out, leave. Please. <laughs> Please, no. Is this something? Please, no. Oh, Seven yes. Hours. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm tempted to just like equip the, the potions right away. Like maybe a mega potion? Yeah, please do. Just do it. <laughs> just to uh, provide me the most opportunities to heal. We're gonna see. I guess that's only six heals there. I don't know if it regens itself. Probably not, right? I don't think it does. What? Well, here, here's what I'll do. I'll do a. I'll do a happy both worlds. We'll do one Kyrga and we'll do one of that. Okay, good idea. All right, and go. The crest pulses Whoa. with the dark power. I will come back later. <laughs> <laughs> that's a danger I'm willing to face. Aqua's a and badass. It pulses. I'm ready to face it. I'm ready to face this. You kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right uh, now, Aqua? No, I don't think she is. I think she's standing in a clearing looking confused. What's that? What is that? I don't know. Oh. oh, 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 hello. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, it is fabulous. Oh my God, you look fabulous. And you got a- Oh my God, the symbol on the mask. Yeah. That is so cool. <gasps> that is really cool. It's, I didn't think Vanitas could be more cool looking, but he looks more cool looking. <laughs> I, I wish he looked like this in the main game. <laughs> so this is Vanitas' Lingering Spirit, as it's called there. It's called, uh, I think, Remnant or something. His Lingering Spirit is cooler oh than Oh my himself. god, his Lingering Spirit took out like all my freaking health. We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> he's got one health bar. Oh, okay. I was gonna be like, he's gonna have like 20 of them. We're oh gonna god. just, we're gonna, we're screwed. Well, he has one health bar right now. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's invincible. Hey, that's rude. That is rude. And he whacked me. I'm invincible, luckily. But. Ow. Oh. Mega potion. See, my mega potions are going down. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, darkness doesn't wait. Ha. Oh. Oh. He. Oh, he, he canceled it. Oh, you jerk wad. What a dick move. <laughs> You're pathetic. 
And he can he cure. Really this is the worst. What do you- he can- okay, that, maybe that's why he has one health bar, because they're like, you know what, we're gonna give him one health bar, we're gonna <laughs> give him this bullshit ability that he can heal. <laughs> yeah, he just healed right now. He oh, always goes that. invincible when I go into this mode. What the hell, man? Maybe he's copying you. It feels like it a little bit. Ugh. Show me anger, I'll show you anger. Well, no, you won't, because you're, you're not there. You're not Terra, sorry. You're Aqua, and she sort of generally stays quite cool. Oh, I couldn't get my cure off. And anger is very darknessy. Ooh. I love I love that it looks like they're doing some sort of really dramatic dance move when they die. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, it looks kind of funny. All their tripping slow motion. All right, I left the Mega Potion off this time. We'll see. So if he does copy me, he might copy commands. I, I swear I read something on him that he copied the move, so... That's why people suggested potions, but I don't know if that's true or not. So I'm gonna keep trying this until then. I can skip that scene. Well, I can keep an eye out for you and then... See what happens. That he looks so cool, though. No, you don't. Oh god, he went into his freaking invincible mode. Why is he always freaking invincible? Because he's evil. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, you oh. said heal, and the next thing he did was go and heal, I think. I healed twice already. Okay. Oh, he did just heal again. Alright, so maybe I should equip potions. Yeah. <laughs> Too slow, he says. I got you with that one. Oh, I did a good damage with that. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. He copies me. He copies me. Damn you. All right. I guess we're, we're going to be going. Uh, Yeah. Whack, whack. Aha. He healed again. I didn't even heal. Maybe he copies my commands. No, I just had a yeah. thought. You know, when you were saying like, um, what do you Ooh. said? Vanitas. Something about people think Vanitas gets his Sora's face after like the Sora connection. So yeah. it makes sense to me, I guess, because especially with how quickly Xehanort takes um, Ventus to Destiny Islands, maybe he <sighs> really didn't have a face until that moment. Okay. Uh, well, he's he comes out of his heart and he just has a mask on. That's it. So I, he I don't. Even speak, I don't think it's. So... He does speak. Does he? Yes. I don't remember him speaking. He does speak. Okay. And we'll sprinkle some of the seeker mines in here. Just a couple. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's try that. It's kind of cool that the um, <laughs> guy that's oh voiced God. Sora for so long did get to voice a darkness boy, though. Yeah, apparently he wanted to, so that was probably the reason behind it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, probably not, but he did want to. He was like, I've been a good boy for so long. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh god, you're a dodging master. Oh, I got spell weaver. You suffer. No, damn you. Ooh, oh, he's a, he's a tough boy. Oh, and there's another one after this that's harder. Oh, gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll be fun. Oh god, I couldn't heal. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't heal. Oh. You're pathetic. See you later. Oh. He's just... Why is he so fast? He's faster than Ventus was the entire game. Oh. Oh. I'm doing well, though. Oh. 
Oh. You're actually hitting him with these. Oh, I've been hitting him with those, yeah. No, I didn't heal. Heal! Oh, oh my god. Oh my yes. god! Oh. Well done! You did it! Oh. Wow, that teleport strike is huge. I think it was very helpful. Oh. Wow. Hello. Oh, I goodbye. Love you guys. <laughs> Ooh. There's just one more. There we go, Void Gear. Keyblade oh. with long reach. It provides an outstanding boost in strength and deals higher damage when you land the crit. I had I love it. I had to do, um, I was working on the tier list for this game, so I did see this weapon before this, but other than that, I had not seen this weapon, but this one's freaking dope. <laughs> it's so cool. It is like cool. The eye. the eye looks. Yeah, so yeah. this this is, uh, Venus's Keyblade, just black and white version. Yeah, I know, it's so cool. Yeah, I like it. Alright, there we go. But wait, there's one more! Where could it be? I'm not gonna equip this Keyblade, by the way, because it's not as good, but I'll look at it anyways. <laughs> Ah, uh, here it is, Void Gear. So it's eight in strength, four in magic. Oh, yeah, that's bad for you. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's not good. Let us continue. I might have to alter my deck again. I don't know. We'll see how things go. Is it this world? Who are we gonna fight here? Who are we gonna fight here? We're gonna find out in a second. Oh. oh. More Robies? <gasps> Rope boys. <laughs> Robies, Robies existed back then, ten years ago. I didn't. I mean, don't think so. But <laughs> oh, oh, he's got light swords. The lightning swords. Lightning wasn't light that, swords. Wasn't wasn't that seven? Was this whole thing like lightning? Light. Yeah, he did have that. Yep. And he had lightsabers. Yeah, he did. Well, he seems easier to get the health off of than freaking other dude. Yeah, just wait for his combos. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, I speaking too soon? Oh. Maybe. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> I oh, couldn't no. move. He's <sighs> still slicing you. She's already dead. <laughs> Retry. I think I can do this though. I, don't know, I got all the hits off him on the start. I believe you can do it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's a good start. Oh, wait. <laughs> Missed me. Ow. Did not miss me there. Okay. You got me. <laughs> wow. God, they shred my health. Was that a combo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> so was this fire thing that I died last time. It's such there a good start go. on the last one. He's gonna be tough on me. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I almost feel like Cure's better here because... More forgiving. I feel like there's Maybe? a longer animation for the items. And it can e more easily be cancelled, but I don't think Cure can be cancelled. You just fucking screw. You don't even get a minute. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Block all that. He blocks all of it. Jesus fucking Christ, man. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this oh, is so man. fun. Yeah, this is one of those really it. fun fights. Oh my god. This is the worst. I miss. Vinitas' armor. <laughs> oh, God, it's it's just everything just takes me down all the way and he keeps fucking going. Yeah, yeah. Are you getting more hits What in the hell? What is this? It sounds like she's saying Terra. It does, doesn't it? So trying it, to kill. Moth? Why is there so many of him? Oh my God. God, fuck off. Oh my fucking god! Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, they aren't. How are you meant to defeat that? Just fucking stop! That is so long of not being able to play the fucking game. 
and literally be able to do nothing. It's still going. This is still the same combo. <laughs> what, did he just press a massive red button that said screw of aqua? <laughs> What the fuck am I supposed to do with it? It's still going. He's finally done. I was trying to go for an attack there. And, and well, then I hit him and then he does this thing. It's like... Oh my god. This might be worse than the Lingering Wolf fight. <laughs> oh no. The music is epic here, I gotta say. It is, actually. Yeah, that's a good call. Very awesome music, really shitty boss fight. <laughs> yeah. It's easy enough to dodge him, I just... Mm. Being able to attack him, right? Impossible. I don't know where he is, he's like, sky bombing right now or something. Yeah, I think he's gonna his weird sky combo. One of many, probably. I can't lock on to him, he's like, invisible. I think he's just going nuts. <laughs> yeah, he is invisible. Well, that's cheating. <laughs> I just hope he comes uninvisible. Yeah, there you go. He hit me with a skyball. Uh, that sucks. Why has he got meteors? Uh, good question. He's invisible again. I don't even know if I could hit him if I wanted to. Um, I don't know. Sometimes you can see, like, the waviness of his invisibility. Oh, I have no but commands. Oh, another back. Oh. oh, he stole them from me. I picked the wrong he time to cure. Does, he already has so much bullshit and he can steal them from me? Apparently. <laughs> I got some heals off. He stole my commands, though. <laughs> I think you can live without commands at the moment. He's going a bit they are. nutty again. Oh, you have to pick them back up? I guess so. Fuck. God, damn you! Oh! God damn it! Fuck off! Get a fucking life! <laughs> I mean, you right? That's fine. Oh, there we go. Hi. <laughs> it makes me unconscious. I literally can't fucking move or do anything. That's helpful. That's so shit. Why does he have to suck so much? God, I love this music so much, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that. really when, do. When, it's, when it slows down, it gets tight, so that's all violin string part. Yeah. It's so good. That's the part I love a lot. Fuck off. Fuck face. Because I have no idea just how you're doing what you're doing, because it looks like they should be hitting you. <laughs> it, it's the invincibility frames of Cartwheel. <laughs> okay. All I, all I have to do is just spam a button. That's really all I'm doing. <laughs> okay. My god. <gasps> Fuck! Fuck! Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Fuck! See, I counter him, I do that, and then he does this. What? What fucking what? bullshit? What even is that? Is that like him just He's freezing you? time. God, he literally takes out all my fucking health. Oh, he's healing from this every time. Oh. Oh, you bitch. oh but I take his health down, back down after that, it looked like. Yeah, you did take a, a larger amount of health off. I only got him at that one. Fuck. I'm in the dealing page, that's gonna kill me. Fuck! Well, you're right! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, hit that bitch. Oh, really? Yeah, because he sucks. Not fucking Ventus! Oh, fuck.
yeah, yeah. Just, these cartwheels, the fact that these cartwheels are invincible, like, amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's when it's not invincible, like last match. <laughs> nope. It's really hard to get you. <laughs> oh. He sure freaking does. Never gives up. One. He wants, he two. wants your nuggies. It's kind of rude. See, he only did two that time. Oh, I thought I could not heal there. I was so close. Yeah. potions or something. <laughs> You'll never take me alive! <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why does he have to go into his air mode when he did that? <laughs> all sorts of tornadoes and bollocks. <laughs> Might have been... Oh, I wasn't late on it. Cool. Whew. Hold on. Come on. I can see you! <laughs> <laughs> Your invisibility is right out, my friend. Oh, he's so close to fucking dead. I know. I can see that. Yes! Let's fucking go. Oh, my was, gosh. Once, once I got the barrier thing up, that was a lot easier. <laughs> oh. Oh. I actually held my breath when you got low health and he was in his last health while and you went, oh, fuck. And I was like, <gasps> I know, I know. Oh my god, well done though. That was fun once I did the barrier surge. That was a fun, more fun fight, I will say. No. Lingering yes. will fight is still bullshit. Yeah, but these, but... these, the fights in this game I respect. I don't think there's a, th a fight in here that's complete bullshit to me. So that's cool. Oh. No name. A keyblade with long reach that provides an outstanding boost in magic and makes it easier to land critical hits. Very That's cool. That's a cool keyblade. If you notice, he did a lot of time magic, and there's a clock on yeah. the top of it. I did. There's also a clock at the handle, isn't there? And there's a yeah, and there's a timer, a sand timer at the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Wow. I still hate him though. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that guy's a jerk. <laughs> I have harsh oh. words. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I used a lot of harsh words during the fight. Wow. Hey, you called him fuckface at one point, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I wonder how many attempts that took me. I might, if future Zombo wants to hate himself, maybe he'll check that for me. But otherwise, uh, <laughs> you know what? I might actually leave in every time I died as a, like a death compilation so that might happen i don't know future zombo will determine it if you guys have any problems with it please address future zombo as he is the one editing do not blame me <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah please understand that future zombo and the zombo in the video are two different people <laughs> yeah there were actually two entities yeah, yeah separate um we did not have the opportunity to address any questions that rain had during that due to the fact that i had to use every brain cell that is already lacking in my body uh to pay attention <laughs> to those fights rain did you have any that you wanted to address here or were they all answered um i think you answered all of them you told me why it was called birth by sleep didn't you or did no i didn't it? no i, I didn't just... oh my god um... actually there's stuff i'm my list i want to talk about <laughs> Okay, because that's that's one of the ones that's unanswered, and um, I'll, yeah, I'll answer think... it right now. Um, okay. So, basically, Namora, the game creator of the Kingdom Hearts games, yeah. really really wanted he really liked the term "buy," like he wanted "buy" in the title, and yeah. I guess he just really wanted a title that was "Birth by Sleep." He he named the end of the last uh, cutscene in Kingdom Hearts Two uh, "Birth by Sleep." Okay. I guess he just he just really liked it. <laughs> it's kind of a lame thing, but he just he just liked it. I like to think yeah. it's birth by sleep because of Ventus, but whatever. Yeah, same here. We're just gonna say that's canon because why not? It's uh, yeah. It'll, it could be a head canon, really. Yeah, head canon. I like it. Uh, yeah. Were you gonna say something else though before I interrupted that? No, I don't think so. The only thing I didn't get was when you were talking about. I don't know why it's confused me. When you were going through the Xehanort reports, the fact that Keyblades are forged? Like, yes. in my mind, that means somewhere there is a massive fire and a, a, a welder <laughs> with, like, a hammer and... Like, truly the definition of forged here is different. I can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That will remain unanswered for now, then. For now, yeah. It's it's not even something that's necessarily answered in a game, but I will provide you what you seek, sort of. <laughs> okay, I'll just write unanswered by it, and yeah. But I think that's it. Uh, this game's pre been pre lacking on like activating my question brain because well, I've actually understood it. <laughs> well, here's the thing about this game, right, is as as which, by the way, I want to bring this up because I didn't realize this when we recorded this, but there was a okay. point when you called Aqua a moron and I want to I, I future me got <laughs> I was ready to absolutely choke you out. I'm like, hell no, I was. <laughs> Was that at the end when I was getting really annoyed? Yes, and then I yeah. you, were, you you kept getting annoyed and said more things, and obviously I picked that up, and I'm like, whoa, I'm not gonna take this about my girl Aqua, but I totally <laughs> missed like the moron, and you said something else about I can't remember what it was, but you said like you called her a name or something as well, and I'm like, I wish I knew I would have mm, I would have clawed <laughs> your eyes out if if I if you didn't <laughs> somewhat amend yourself later for like being like, no, I know it's not her fault. I was just, at that point, it, honestly, anything oh. that I called her or said about her was, I was just really frustrated. <laughs> and she was my outlet. <laughs> so, so here's your opportunity to make amends with Aqua. Okay. If you, if you want to. What what are oh, your thoughts on Aqua? She's and not a moron, the ending. first of all. Okay. She's not a moron. She did what she thought was best, because she didn't realize, obviously, it was Terra And, um... I feel really bad that she's stuck in the realm of darkness. I think she did really well with like the entire story, the entire situation was sort of in the of the story was really tough and long. And her side of it was really cool. And seeing like the fact that she believed in terror and obviously her abilities are very awesome, she's very powerful. Yeah, look at that. The one I was doing now, that's like a huge reason why I was able to demolish that boss at the end there. <laughs> yeah. 
every time he did that, I was like watching his health bar so I could see how many hits you got in. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> but she's she's awesome and it just she's very powerful. I think she could kick everyone's ass, including Sora's. <laughs> I, I, I want to say too. I at, at, earlier in the series, I'm like I'm not sure whose ability is like more Terra's or Aqua's, but after going through. I went through the uh, Mirage Arena both with Terra and with Aqua. I I think I like Aqua's better. Yeah. Um, I also like the aesthetics of hers a lot. I will say the Earthness of Terra, hence Terra, is really cool. Yeah. So I, I definitely really like that about his abilities. Um, but I I don't know. I think the magicliness of Aqua just really does for me. I never expect him to say that again. So don't get used yeah, to it. Yeah. I know. Ugh. I would say, I obviously I don't know from a gaming standpoint, but I feel like I would probably enjoy Terra's abilities a bit more. Okay, yeah. No, normally I would, but I, yeah, because he's the physical attacker. He's, he's yeah. the physical boy, but no, not in this case. Not in this case. Which is fair enough. Aqua can I... bear my children. What? <laughs> oh <laughs> my. <laughs> God, it's been a while since I've heard you say that about a character. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I said it about a character, honestly. Did you say it about the Lotus once? Yeah, I bl that sounds yeah. right. I don't think I've said it about Tifa before, though. No, that I think it's the Lotus I'm thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> She's the but... least hottest of any of the characters. I don't actually really have a thing for her. It's just funny. <laughs> yeah, no, I know you don't, but you just you like that joke from when we play. Yeah. Um, She's mommy. But, oh, God. She technically actually is. <laughs> yeah, she is, literally. There was no other implications there. No, but my brain, it's, it's in the suit, you know. So you and still think things... that Terra's abilities are better then? In your opinion? Well, like, for your playstyle, I should say? I think they would be, but obviously I don't know until, uh, like, if one day I play it, you know? <laughs> yeah. I won't know from that standpoint, but I have a feeling I'd probably enjoy his playstyle a bit more. Just because it seems like he's just more hard hit, just the way he does it, you know? Yeah. He's he's very, uh, aggressive, which is my yeah. playstyle. Um, yeah, however, play I, think, style. I think you can make any, uh, character aggressive in this game, so... Yeah. And it's like, and, and then Aqua seems very aggressive. their <laughs> argument for Terra then is then they make him less dodgy. He's the worst at dodging anything. Like, I, I'm curious how he would be in that fight against that enemy. Like, I really do. Oh, you can always try it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, and you the barrier really surge like, I was nah. using is a Aqua exclusive there. Okay. Um, however, I think, I don't know. I think Thunder Surge might have iframes, so that might also work. Iframes? In invincibility frames. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Game, gamer. <laughs> Don't gaming term gaming me. Gaming lingo. <laughs> Don't game term me. My sister does it all the time. I'm like, just, just stop. Speak English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but yeah. So I, no, I don't. You're good. I mean, even with that knowing too, just how much I love dodging, that definitely puts him below yeah. Aqua for me. Let's just um, ignore Ventus's playstyle. <laughs> Ventus is fucking shite. You can God. see a bit shit. Like, the idea of Ventus <sighs> with, like, his backhand and keyblade and speed is cool. But yes. he doesn't really have the speed. No, he does as a D-Link. His D-Link is cool. However, yeah. he is not. Yeah, he doesn't have the right execution to what he's meant to be. No, not at all. Which is unfortunate, but... And, I mean, you guys can let me know if I did something wrong, but as far as I can tell, I didn't see any indication of making him quick and he was weak as hell. I feel like if someone was going to let you know if you had done something wrong, it would have been Jaden by now. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> he would have gone, actually. <laughs> um, actually, in the third world at this third point, you actually could learn this ability that would have allowed you to have Ventus be able to be really quick and have haste. In fact, he could be faster than his, his D-Link variant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would have totally done that by now. <laughs> Jaden, for context, I do not think you sound like that. <laughs> I just, that's my um actually voice. I cannot yeah, that's, um yeah. actually without doing that. <laughs> I do that as well. I do that as well. <laughs> Whenever I decide like to mock someone or like have fun with someone about something they've said and I'm just like, oh, no, no time. <laughs> I, I push up my glasses as well when I do that. 
I normally do that too, but my hands are on a controller, so I wasn't able to do that. Yeah. So I, I hope you understand. You I had imagined you doing it, so it's fine. <laughs> I felt I, you verbally did it. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. So I wanted to note too, because I don't... I can't remember... I, there's so many opportunities when I'm like, oh, I want to bring this up, and I can't remember if I did end up bringing it up. But during Ventus's playthrough, when we saw when we saw the 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 Keyblade for the first time, yeah. that's by the way, everybody, that's just become my way to identify that I'm talking about the Keyblade. It's just the it Keyblade. <laughs> yeah. Um, that that uh, well, it looked, it wasn't complete. It was damaged. Um, it was? We did technically see the full version wielded by I'm gonna call, uh, Vanitas Ventus at the end when it was. Like Vanitas's eyes inside of uh, Ventus's body, so it was like yeah. his, it was Vanitas with or Ventus with yellow eyes. It it did look like the key, the full keyblade there, but the one that they were wielding in the dream state was a damaged one. It had like a it was almost like burnt. The handle oh. of the keyblades weren't complete. Is that because they were fighting for control? Uh, no, not not really. Uh, okay. I I can't get into it right now. <laughs> I'll get into it later. I'm gonna br okay. So this, <laughs> I'm gonna bring up this thing that I wanted to talk about that I didn't know before, but I can't tell you about the thing. You can't tell me about the thing. That's you. That's you, basically, right now. It's like oh. you're gonna bring up this thing, and you're gonna tell well, me something that's really well, interesting, but then you're not gonna tell me the thing. <laughs> the thing. The thing. What I'm doing is I'm pointing out something that's gonna have relevance later. That. That's my. Okay. That's that's my goal here. Not like. Hmm, here, did you notice this? Yeah, I can't tell you. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> it's it's like I told you to look at Zigbar. I told you Zigbar. He's he's important, but I'm not telling you why. I'm just telling you, just take note of him. He's important. All right. So sp specifically him at the end of the, the game here. That was me drawing attention to that. In Kingdom Hearts 1, I, I said draw attention to the heartless boy with Ansem. It's important. Like, that's this is what I'm that's what I'm talking about. It's, it's just me yeah. drawing your attention to things. So when I bring it up okay. later, you're not like, what the hell are you talking about? Though sometimes you still are like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I've got a lot going up on my, my brain. It's a lot, and I always don't, I don't always take in the verbal information, so that's why I'm writing it down. <laughs> okay, so now I want to bring up another point here. This is going to be a little bit of a long thing, just because it seems like I have more to talk about at the end of this game than Rain does. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I've absorbed um, the, it's one of the no, situations that's fine. where I've absorbed the game, and I'm like, I have nothing. I don't know what. <laughs> There's a lot of like questions I'd like to ask you about like certain, what you think about certain aspects of this game. Okay. Maybe we can touch on that in the tier list, but I, I'm not bringing it up now. Um, okay. But maybe that's something we can talk about later. Maybe maybe it's something we can talk about too in the next game as we're fighting through enemies or something. Because yeah. it's yeah. something to talk about and discuss. But there anyways, is. continuing on, I have a question for you uh, about something okay. I brought up a while ago. I think I brought it back in KH2. I said oh. everybody is Sora. Do you remember that? Oh god, yes, I remember that. Do you remember I that? I still don't know what you mean. I still don't know what you mean by everyone is well, Sora. <laughs> well, well, I think I explained it to you. Because we have Naminé, who's partly Sora, right? We have Shion, oh. who's Sora's memories of Kairi. We yeah, have Roxas, Sora. who's Sora's nobody. <laughs> we have Ventus, yeah. who has a connection to Sora. So for all intents and purposes, Everyone seeing as the darkness pulled out of him is Sora, I'm going to say he's partly Sora. <laughs> Vanitas is obviously, he looks like Sora. He really is Sora. <laughs> There's a lot of Soras. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I, I've just had a memory trigger, so it's completely irrelevant to the game, but, um, the, do you know the car fobs, where it's just, like, buttons now, and to open yeah. a car? Yeah, I got one. Yeah? Yep. Um, my dad realized recently that in my car key is uh, a keyblade, and he goes, we've got a nickname the car Sora now, and I'm like, I mean, I would rather call it Riku, <gasps> but okay. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Because he was like, yes! it's a keyblade. And I'm like, yes, it's a keyblade. Bonus points for your dad. <laughs> Shout out to Rain's dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, dad, my dad's sort of played some of these games before, but every time I look oh, at okay. him, I'm like, do you remember this? He's like, no. <laughs> I, I, uh, I normally hate naming vehicles. I'm against it, but I, appro I approve. I approve. <laughs> you, get, you get the Zombo stamp of approval. Yay. <laughs> Riku or Sora, honestly, I'm cool with either. 
I, I'll call it both in like changing it around. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that your solution? <laughs> yeah, because I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Currently, it's Riku. Maybe next week it'll be Sora. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what else do I have here? Uh, I had to note that Terranort is the guy on Destiny Islands. Just to yeah, confirm, because that, that was what you were questioning. I have so. a whole ass paragraph about that on my page. I'm like, this is really frustrating. And <laughs> I, know his, I know his appearance is and like where he pops up. And I'm like, where, who is he? <laughs> yeah. And that, that's why like Terra's hair is so important because you get a lot of people with yeah. his hair. Yeah. Yeah. Which I know I brought up before, because Xemnas has hair aesthetically looking like that. Um, yeah. And some Seeker of Darkness has hair resembling that, just longer. Yeah, it's really cool hair. It is. You rock it, Terra. Epic also, hairstyle. We, we, we um, brought up last time, I think, um, saying that we think Xemnas' voice is cooler than Terra's. Yeah. But then we heard Terra's more, and I'm like... I don't know. I think they're kind of equal, but for different reasons. Like, no. obviously, Zemnis Canceled. has the more powerful Canceled. voice. Comments cancel it. Comments cancel it. There's no <laughs> way. Nobody has a better voice than those. <laughs> but no, no. I'm not saying he's a better voice, but maybe it's like, it is up there. It's a really good voice. It, I, he, he's, I don't actually, if I'm being honest, a lot. I don't think a lot of people like his voice actor. Not, not necessarily calling out his voice. There's a lot of people who question the voice acting in this game. Um... But, uh, I don't know. I like it. Yeah, I'm here I for like it. it. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. Otherwise, I wouldn't say I like his voice. Because I will voice say, of, of the, the quality of the three main characters here, I'd say he is the lowest for me. Not that I'm dissing it. Like, I don't hate it or anything. I think it's 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 good for him. He's a, he's a confused little yeah. shy boy, in my opinion. <laughs> but, um, I, mean, he, he, I said, I would say his is the least impressive to me out of the three. Mains. Meanwhile, I'm just like, they're all impressive and I have no opinion on this. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. I'm all for it. I, 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 I don't like when people diss the voice actors in this game, so just, no, I'm no, happy with that. They're good. They're good voice actors. Good voices. Um, but yeah, yeah. so th that was one thing I want to say. Um, I also just wanted to mention how freaking powerful which I know I talked about with this Aqua a lot, and I, I did bring it up briefly with, with Terra, but um, the fact that Terra, Terra beat Ericus, which is his master. Yeah. He yeah. beat him in a fight. Yeah. And then, like, immediately after, he goes to the Keyblade graveyard and beats up Xehanort, and he won. Yeah, he did. This, the old fart just decided he was going to release his heart and, and go into Terra as his retreat mechanism, I guess. But, it, and for all intents and purposes, Terra won that fight. He did. This guy is powerful. Very. Then on top of that, like, I'm assuming he's getting some, like, he must have had, like, some mental strength when he was in kind of Xehanort. I mean, we saw at the end of the, the game in the final episode that he had, uh, he was having his little fights. Or it might have been the beginning of the secret episode. Now I think about it. Um, there he had his 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 property dispute, as they called it, yeah. <laughs> in Xehanort. That was he, quite funny. He was holding his own there. You know, he was he was like, I'm just gonna chill here. You know, yeah, I'm chilling, when, getting stronger, the, or whatever. When asked what his plan was, he's like, Why would I tell you? <laughs> right. <laughs> so I mean, I just want to emphasize the strength of him, and obviously Aqua. I mean, we got to experience firsthand here going yeah. through the, the realm of darkness with aqua and she fought this big darkness monster like that's the kind of thing you can expect her to be facing over that period of time yeah. um and on the points of the period of time now that i've you know addressed how strong aqua is because she's powerful the question is how much time passes in the realm of darkness versus the time realm of light because it is in fact different um, yeah. It went into an interview of Nam Namora, the game creator, that um, during that scene with Ansem the Wise and Aqua on, on that little beach, the dark beach, it, it, it's she says, I've been here a long time or whatever. And an interviewer just like, how long, how long has she been in there? And Namora said something along the lines of like, well, it's it's unclear exactly how long she's been in there, but it's you know it's clear it's been a very long time, and I fr I, I wish I could remember the exact wording, 
but the wording in there makes it seem like it it feels like less time in the realm of darkness than the 10 years but I, I feel like everything I've seen in the games it just makes it feel like it's more than 10 years but when when uh when Anson the Wise says it's like you know that was a X amount of time ago you know a long time ago and it's like wow it's been that long like wow I've lost track of time and it's I I was I always thought it was like oh it's it's because she's been it feels even longer than 10 years for her with time dilation but maybe it's quicker you guys can let me know in the comments it it sounds like if, it, I mean, Nomura's a game creator, so it sounds like what he says to go. So if, if it's the case and I was interpreting that interview correctly, it sounds like it's less time, but still a very long time. And then people say that's kind of the argument why, you know, we see in this game, even though years have passed, she still looks the same. Yeah. But to be honest, she's at that point of her life when she really shouldn't age that much visually. <laughs> yeah. She's kind of, so I don't really think that's a valid argument. No, but you guys can let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys are like, yeah, yeah Nomura's thing is canon, that's that's true, it is less time. Or if I just misinterpret it and it's actually a lot of time. But I think well, it's more badass if it was longer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Myself. Well, um, Anton the Wise being in it, that was after Kingdom Hearts 2, right? Like when Anton the Wise was yes. in it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, because yeah. that he was trying. He was on his his thing, his journey of retribution for himself, making amends of his wrongdoings in his past. Because he he mentioned that in the in the thing, and he said, "What was it? A year ago that I met him," and yeah. that was referring to him meeting him in basically Chain of Memories when we saw him as Ansem, uh, or yeah. sorry, Diz. That's what we saw him okay. as. Um, but yeah, so that's. That's kind of that. I just wanted to address the the time difference. Gosh darn you! I'm trying to go to the save, you jerks. Yeah, well, I mean, we saw that massive like darkness being pulled out of the realm of darkness, which I can only assume was what Xehanort, well, Terranort did. Um, I I'm trying to pinpoint exactly when that darkness thing came up. If that was and some Seeker of Darkness, basically releasing all the Heartless into the world. Um, or I guess Terranort making all the emblem heartless and whatnot, or mm. if that was like a different instance, maybe the world's falling to darkness. I'm, I'm a little bit unclear. I'm sure the answer's out there, and I can try to look for that. But I, I'm not 100% sure the exact moment that that occurs. And okay. but I'm I'm sure there's like a link to the real world with that darkness butthole. Oh, definitely. There, like, there has to be. There's yeah. gotta be. Okay, so I, I only have one more thing on my list, Rain. And oh, this okay. this is the most important question I have for you. Uh-oh. Are you ready? Yes. What do you think my chances are with Aqua? <laughs> um, I'm going to put this on a physical standpoint and say physically impossible because she's in the wrong darkness. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. But... Real, like, if she wasn't in the realm of darkness, uh -huh. you're quite a cool dude, and she should see that. Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say. Here's what I'm gonna say, everybody. I would take Aqua over Tifa. Done. <gasps> yeah, yeah, I said it. I said it. Like I said, my relationship with Aqua is not, not simpy, and it is more real. Tifa's a simp. Though I do still have a lot of appreciation for her, and maybe moving forward it'll be less simpy. You made me and... write an essay on her. I did. I did. Do you want to write an essay on Aqua? You'd probably enjoy doing it more. <laughs> I would put more time into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's saying a lot. Obviously, I freaking love Tifa. I love Tifa yeah. a lot. She's she's still awesome. Ugh. But I will say, Aqua's above her for me. Gotta be honest. So... Jaden, all the times that you told me to back off Aqua? No. <laughs> you back oh, off you Aqua. <laughs> you back off. <laughs> well, I, I actually, this was one of my favorite things. It's like a little meme that I started with the Aerith, Cloud, and Tifa thing. When I'm like, oh, no. Cloud's taken Aerith, back off. And, <laughs> and so it's just like that, that Aqua's taken Aerith, back off. 
Yeah. Or sorry, Ak was taken. One of it was Zombo back off, and another one was Zach back off. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of fun. I love it so much. It's amazing. Yeah. So thank thank you for bringing that around, Jaden. <laughs> you are you are the the initiator of that, being be, making it a meme basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, but That's yeah, so that, that, that was the last thing I had, though. Any um, parting thoughts that you want to have before we uh, exit out of this this game and close it um, with having achieved everything? This game has made me really sad uh, with a lot of stuff that's happened. But it's such a good Sadder story. than 358. Like... Wait, I want I need to... Sadder than 358 oh. or on the same level or 358 more? I would say maybe just, like, maybe just like a tiny bit below 358 just because... 358 was like a movie and like there wasn't breaks in between it. We watched that in one sitting, so it was harder hitting. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, whereas this has been like broken up like weekly and I've been like, okay, I can breathe for a minute. <laughs> yeah, but, we really hit, we really hit all the hard hitting points last week at the end and, and you were getting yeah. very emotional, but then you decided to get mad at Aqua and then that got away from <laughs> your your sorrow. And Because, you know, sometimes I get mad. Like there are some games I've experienced where I I get really sad and I'm ready to cry, but then I think, no, 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 fuck this. <laughs> really what the fuck, Aqua? <laughs> I get yeah. really upset. Um, but this game has been really awesome. I'm really upset that, obviously, Terra had the fate he did. Um, I hope Ventus is okay in that room by himself. <laughs> He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Um... I look Yo, forward to seeing. Yo, Bach was okay next... too. Chilling around with Bach darkness okay. for freaking eternity. It's just got ants and keep her company at the moment, though. <laughs> <laughs> After ten years. Yeah, finally. <laughs> well, I guess it's eleven years, right? Oh yeah, the, those cage ones. Yeah. So a year later then yeah. too. Yeah. Well, at least you've got some company in there now. Um, but yeah, I feel really sorry for each one of them, and I actually kind of really miss Sora and Riku, but I don't know what we're going to get in the next game, so... <laughs> yeah, so what would we get? We wrapped up, they were on Destiny Islands with Kairi, and they got a, yeah. a message in a bottle. From Mickey, where he needs his help, because he'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never tell you what the letter says! <laughs> 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 he said that he's like posting the letter to Sora and Mi Minnie's like, what you doing? He's like, I'll never tell him. And he swan dives into like a fountain. <laughs> Are you cheating on me? I'll never tell. <laughs> I mean, I brought up Sora and Riku and wanting to see them again and not knowing what we're going to get. Um, yeah, if that brings anything up. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and it's been a while since we've we've really properly seen them, right? Because obviously they make appearances in these, but... You know, no. we had uh, three, five, eight. This this game, and yeah. So I guess it's been like two, two games, and we haven't really had a lot of tension with them. No, and I missed them. Like when it when we um went into three, five, eight, I was like, okay, this is cool. We're getting some look into like Axel, obviously, and Roxas, and obviously Shion, who was new. And I was like, okay, I'm looking forward to this. And obviously, then we went into this game where I was like, oh, there's new characters, and I was very, like, baffled, and he told me it was ten years ago, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so yep. Sora's like a baby. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, Were you expecting to now, see him at all, then? I was said? not. I was not. I thought he would still be sucking his thumb uh, with his <laughs> um, I did not expect to see him running around on that island with their boat, not building a raft. Um, oh, you actually really remind me of something thinking of a child, Sora and Riku. I actually do know how Kyrie got to Destiny Islands. I told you I didn't know, and I don't think anybody knows. I know. <gasps> you lied to me? <laughs> I didn't. I did. I, I genuinely did not know when I told you that. I only just learned it. <laughs> I know. I'm fucking with you. Um, um, what is it? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing a note that you know. <laughs> yeah, but there's a reason, so that's cool. Okay, good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's like the, why we saw only Riku and Sora, right? On Destiny Island. So that's what made me think of it bringing it up right now, um, is, is because <laughs> yeah. of that fact. Of, yeah, we only saw those two running around because they were the only ones there, and Kyrie was. Well, I guess we still call, saw Kyrie, she was just on the other world. But. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've written it down as Zombo knows how Karu gets to the islands. Karu! <laughs> uh, yes, me and my, my name both intentional and unintentional. 
<laughs> it, it doesn't matter. They're all fabulous. Yeah, that one was an unintentional one, but Raku <laughs> Nimini was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we get kind of all of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I also want to address too, like the Disney worlds. I think we're very well done here. I think the mm -hmm. vastness of them were cool. It was interesting that we got certain aspects based on the character. Like there were certain areas we couldn't go to as one, but we weren't that way with the experience as another. Different points of the plot line mm -hmm. of the Disney world. Yeah. So um, I thought that was really cool. I just want to initially say that. Obviously, we can talk more about it when we do tier lists on it, mm -hmm. which uh, we will be doing tier lists of everything, um, despite yeah. some people discovering about certain aspects of it most of them most people were still into all of them so if you guys are into all of them are you guys gonna watch all of them <laughs> that's my question because history doesn't say that you guys did <laughs> but uh yeah so that'll be cool stay tuned for that that'll be coming up next after this one um and then obviously the next game so it'll be very exciting um, can can I know the, like the name of the next game? Is it a number? Is it words? Can I know this or? Um, it's kind of both. Oh, it's kind of both. That's great. all I'm gonna say. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'll find out the day then. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of both. You're wondering if it's Kingdom Hearts 3, aren't you? <laughs> I remember now. You, you, you. I think it was after KH2. You're like, oh, or maybe it was after KH1. You're like, are we gonna play two? <laughs> yeah, that's, that was my thought, because I was like, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, no, no Rain. You, obviously, you don't know the King Age series. I'm getting you into it now, aren't I? I'm teaching you how King Age works. No, two is not after one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be. All I've got is, um, <laughs> what was it said in the secret episode? It, there was a, a word and a number. Was it point zero? I don't know. That's all I've got in my head, but that's stupid. Um, <laughs> in this game? What did it say? Yeah, I can't there was, was a point a, five. Oh, point five. Okay. There, there was, was like, a there zero. Was points. There was yeah, zero point. Like, maybe it'll be something like that. I don't know, but like, I guess I'll see. <laughs> well, if you, th this is a, uh, it's kind of point I guess we'll get to at a later point, but I will address this. So I guess we're, just write a note about Kingdom Hearts game numbering. I guess just write that. <laughs> I'll know okay. what I'm talking about then. Um, oh, I'll put that in quote marks so I know that you said it. Okay, you can quote it. <laughs> all right, everybody, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope, um, like Rain, she gained some lore information. She was questioning some things, so hopefully that maybe enlightened some of you guys on it. Or maybe you guys are going to tell me, you're an idiot, Zombie, you're completely wrong. And I'll be like, maybe I am. I don't know, but that's... I've, I've, I've done quite a bit of research. I spent many hours researching before playing these games um, just to make sure I know what I'm talking about when I'm playing, so I'm trying to spread the least amount of misinformation as possible however like anything it's always possible that i i received misinformation or i understood something wrong so feel free to call me out preferably be nice about it <laughs> but you know you do you at least we'll get the lore out there um and i will make sure to address rain with any amendments i'll probably still do my own research to even when you guys say something just to you know i there's so much information out there that is both wrong and interpretation and a theory that you guys might have also received information that's incorrect. So I will I will do further research on it. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This has been an amazing series. I love it. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun commentary in this one, fun characters. And uh, uh, thank you. And thank, thank you, Rain, for joining me through all this, this series You're and welcome. all the games up till now, too. And so thank, thank you, you for asking me here. <laughs> yes, you're very welcome. I'm very happy I, I did. Fun. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you to all you guys as well for joining us through this and sticking through. And if you watched the whole series, I appreciate you guys very, very much. And if you haven't, maybe check it out. So, shameless plug. Um, but yes, <laughs> <laughs> thank you everybody it's again. Awesome. Yes, it is awesome. <laughs> thank, thank you everybody again also for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.